right now we have a blank document open and as you can see my styles are more or less missing here's the fix that i found this is courtesy of jay friedman off of the answers.microsoft.com and this video is basically me showing you how to do all of this stuff first step is to bring up alt f11 to bring up the macro editor and you're going to see at the very bottom we have a window called immediate you can press Control plus G to jump to that window or just left click down here. And after you type in normal template that open as document, hit the enter key. And if you go back to Word, we now have this document called normal. So what we're going to do is we want to get these styles to appear on the gallery every single time. And I'm going to add them starting from this one on the right and then work my way towards the left. Make sure we have our punctuation marks here checked. And with my cursor just on that first line, I'm gonna to go to my home tab and then styles gallery. And there's a small square on the bottom right. The shortcut is alt control shift plus S. And that brings up styles window. I wanna have access to every style in Word. So I'm gonna go down to the options button and make sure that under this top select styles to show, I have it set to all styles. Default is recommended. So we're now gonna go ahead and add a style called no spacing right here. And no spacing is right under here called no spacing. And you can right click this and click add to gallery. And as you can see, now it's over here. If you do that and it's not appearing, then simply left click once, no spacing, and it should force it to appear on the gallery that way as well. I've seen that sometimes a heading is actually there. It's just hidden. All right. So next I'm going to do subtitle. So I'm going to actually right click subtitle and then add to gallery. And then there it is. Now we're going to go ahead and add the normal text. Nothing fancy. That's going to appear under the headings. So after heading six, we have normal. I'm going to right click normal and then add to gallery. And there it appears. And then heading, well, let's do heading five too. So heading five. Heading four. And again, if it doesn't work, just left click it once after you add it and it should appear on your, your gallery here. So heading four, let's do heading three, heading two, heading one. And there is the headings that I want to have displayed every time I open up a new Word document. I'm gonna go a step further though, just to show you that this is actually working. I'm gonna right click heading one as an example. And we're going to go to modify. We we'll make this bold and underline and hit save. So we have that change right there in our preview. And for heading two, same idea. I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to bold it, um, but not give it an underline. I'm going to give it a format and then border a single solid line, a half point on the bottom. And then hit OK. And now once you have your headers in the order that you want them and you have them styled as you want them, we're going to go ahead and save this document. If I close Word and open Word again and do a blank document, look at that. Huge thanks to Jay Friedman for that solution. That finally worked for me. People would say, oh, just right click the style, modify, and then select new documents on this template and hit OK. Except if I go back here, Word keeps defaulting this to only this document. There's no way to keep this button checked. So all of those solutions that tell you to do this are useless.